Hey guys, welcome to our Sometimes Tuesday shop tour. Today is kind of fun because we're also doing the craft kit demonstration. So if you've ever wanted to know how to stencil fabric, um, today is gonna be the day that we're gonna teach you. It's super simple and if you have already ordered the craft kit, you'll get to see what's coming. If you have not ordered the craft kit, you're going to have until the 25th of July, 2023 to order this craft kit. You can sign up for a one-time only for $49.95 and that includes the shipping price or it's $42.95 if you do recurring and it bills every three months and ships every three months. Um, Caitlin is on here. She will be dropping links in a minute. Let me just text her that we're on. And she can drop a link for that, but you can also just go to Jamie Ray Vintage. If you see subscriptions, you can click subscriptions and sign up for the craft kit, but let's show you what's coming in it. And stay tuned, even if you're not interested in the craft kit, because we'll show you after we're done with this, what's new in the shop. And we're gonna do some placement of last week's thrift haul items that haven't sold in the store. Super excited to be with you guys because it's been a hot minute. I need you to scooch way that way though. So this is actually made to go on the pockets. No, like to go all the way across. So okay. let's show them what they get first. So in this month's craft kit, you're going to get this flower sack towel with the grain sack stripe. And you're going to get this half apron. You want to show them the apron? Yes, let me show you the half apron. You want apron. to demonstrate the half apron? It's perfect for, uh, you know, all the baking. And it's got two pockets up front. I actually like it quite a bit. The color is great too. It's like a grayish taupe color. Yeah, it's grayish. And then it's you're gonna get two stencils. So you can use whichever stencil you want on your project, but we've got this one. You're not gonna be able to see it until we use it, but it's a wildflower stencil that we created just for this kit, not like the one we already have. And then a cow stencil that will go on the towel. You're also going to get a JRV stencil brush with your craft kit, which is a really great um, value to get two stencils and a stencil brush because the stencil is actually pretty big. And All then right. you're gonna get one ounce of crinoline paint and one ounce of weathered wood. These are giant because we haven't poured the sample portions yet, but I wanna let you know what you are going to get in your kit. So I designed this stencil to go across the bottom and you're supposed to use a crinoline because the creamy color of crinoline will show up really well on the apron. And I'm having to tell that because I designed it and didn't really I've had no instructions prior to right now. We, he has not been for, given further instructions All on right. it. So you're gonna, the top of my head is going to be cut off for a sec because I'm going to show you. We're going to get right into this and we're going to start going. So when you're stenciling fabric and you get the craft kit, you want your fabric to be a little juicy. I've got a whole can of paint here because we haven't portioned them out yet. Your stencil, you're not going to get this much paint, but you'll get enough to do the project. All right, so I'm just, I'm on my drop cloth over here, just kind of drying it off. I, you want it juicy because it's fabric, but you don't want it so juicy that you can't, uh, it, that it bleeds up under the stencil. All right, do you want this? I'm just going to wing it and go. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom with the... You can put, I think it looks better on the bottom, so that way the flowers aren't floating. Yep. And it's got little register marks. Did you tell them about that? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't paint it in on this because you'd be able to see it. Oh, don't you know do the what? stars. It has little stars so that way if you want to line it up, you can. Um, can you grab me some tape though? Yes, like just scotch tape. Will that work? Uh, painter's tape's preferable, but is that scotch tape? I feel like that might be asking a lot today. No, I have a scotch tape right here. What do you want to do with it? Um, I just need to tape this down. So oh, it scotch tape will work. So it doesn't wiggle everywhere. So DIY paint works on fabric. Um, it's especially good on fabric like this that's very porous, that doesn't have a sheen to it because it's going to soak it all up. So he's gonna go ahead and show you how to stencil it. Um, and then we are going to give you, we're not gonna show you how to heat seal it, but we're gonna give you instructions on what you do. It's pretty simple. We just don't have an iron here. I do have an iron. Oh, I'll, you do? I'll show you how to heat seal it. We do it. have an iron. You're supposed to wait 24 hours. I even got it heating up over there. It's right there. So I have to pretend that it's been 24 hours. All right, so I am going to be a minute stenciling here. I don't know if you want to show them anything else that you got over here for funsies while I stencil, because this is just straightforward. Oh no, I went over my little star. Your, your apron's going to have a star on it. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put some, uh, I should have put some tape over the top of that. I will, what I'll do is I'll put a flower over the top of it. Totally. Well, and it's nice to have that because then you can line it up to do the other one. Um, so this is a stencil made to go 
cross, but you could also just center it on there. And then all he's doing is he's offloading from the paint onto the drop cloth. You want your stencil brush to be, have you already told him this? Yep. Oh, never mind. Okay, Harry told you. You want your brush to be juicy, but not too wet. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you what's new in the shop. You guys ready to see some things? Give me a thumbs up and some hearts. I'll, if you I'll give you a pause things. if I need to give more direction here, but this is pretty much the whole deal. This is, this is the craft kit. We want to get you familiar and you know, a fun little project. If you've never stenciled on fabric, we want to show you how easy it is. Oh, we got some hearts. People want to see stuff. Okay. Let me pull up comments here. Sorry guys. I hopped out of a second because I put it in the, how do you see comments? The live chat. There we go. And we're back. Okay. Let's talk about first what's on sale. Did you double check to make sure that that fabric got added? No. Did I ask you to? No. I think I, I didn't know it needed added. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pause. Why don't you talk to him some more about that? So this is a pretty detailed stencil. So, you know, you gotta, you got to, there's a fine line between juicy and, and, uh, and too dry. It is added. Perfect. Okay. Oh. Caitlin, would you sell, share the link to the sale collection? So we have a collection. I'm going to sit down and do this because my head's going to be cut off. Um, we have a collection on the website that's everything that's on sale in the shop. And most of it is permanent markdown. One of the items that we just got in that's on sale is this sweatshirt. Um, typically, we sell a sweat, or not sweatshirt, sweater. We sell a cardigan like this for $49.95. But I got a smoking deal on them. So rather than getting a huge profit margin, I decided to pass that deal along. So instead of $49.95, this cardigan is $26.95. It comes from, it comes in, let me check the sizes, small to XL, and it's very generous. So let me show you a large. I'm typically a large. <laughs> this is very loose. So if you don't want it this big, I would definitely size down. So like a, a medium is good for me. Likewise, if you're a 2X and you don't want it that big, you could wear an XL in the sweater. Super cute, brown, has pockets on the sweater. And once fall hits, like these sweaters are gonna be gone and by then I won't be able to reorder them because they were a, like a clear out price from the manufacturer. So I was super excited to get these in because I need a new neutral sweater to wear all winter long. My sweaters are all balled up, I've had them for years. Oh, and you don't have that color. I don't have brown. So I'm probably going to grab a medium. Is that medium brown? Color. It actually looks kind of like it's like a plum color. To no, me. that's definitely brown. Brown is chocolate. It's chocolate brown. Chocolate plum brown. What does it look like on camera? Do you guys think this is chocolate brown? If you guys are on Facebook and don't mind hitting share, that helps us out a ton. Anyways, these come small to XL. We have all the sizes. So this is new. All right, we're almost done with one of these. Okay. Now I'm gonna continue it on over. I'm gonna get up close and show you. We ordered in, I love coffee table books. These are all hardback, beautiful books written by small independent authors. I get them from a company here in Utah. That's the publisher that I get them from. Um, this one is $49.95, Reflections on Swedish Interiors. I bought them because with the holidays coming, these are such a great present for people. Look how beautiful. Like just the first page. I'm like, I'm going to be doing so many of these paint finishes that are in this book. And I know that you can look up things online, but looking up things online is never a, like, to me it's second to seeing a beautiful book. When I've had a rough day, I like to get a drink, sit on the couch and grab a book. So first one, Reflections on Swedish Interiors, $49.95. Look at the back of the book even. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Next up, because Zeb needs to be equally represented in our shop, we have the Backyard Homesteader. <laughs> <laughs> this is neat. actually really great because should the power ever go out or any apocalyptic situations, you're gonna want information on this and if the internet's down, what are you gonna do? So this is $32.95 for this book. And it's got all kinds of information on how to save water, have bees eat from your garden. Look, all the things you need to know about planting, growing beans and peas, how long things take to grow. This is like a really great resource. I'm actually ordering one of every one of these books just for me because <laughs> gotta have them. Next up, 
a place to call home. This is jacketed, so it has a jacket on the outside, but the actual hardback book is just beautiful. Look at that. So I actually probably would display this just like this because I just love the texture and the color. Look at the inside. This is just the inside of the book. Coffee table books should be gorgeous, have interesting information, and have beautiful pictures. Look at this picture. Like, this is so inspirational. I love books like this because when I go to the thrift store and I'm looking for these items, I can picture what would look good together. People say, how do you know what looks good together? It's because I have spent years and hours thumbing through magazines and beautiful books. So this is A Place to Call Home, written by James Farmer. And this one is $39.95, which I actually think is a smoking deal because I love this. It's just beautiful. Okay, hold on. Let me put the jacket back on this one. Well, and they're big, heavy, solid books. You can use them for risers, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. Um, Sharon Santoni, creator of My French Country Home. She wrote My Stylish French Girlfriend. <laughs> Here's another, like, beautiful book. Look at the pictures on the back. To me, just so much inspiration. I'll show you the inside. Look at that. Look at these, look how cute these are. Like, I'm gonna look at this before we finish up the decoupage papers that we're designing for fall because I love to get inspiration. And because whenever I'm designing, I'm always thinking, what's the end result? Like, where is this going? Look how pretty that is. Look at that yellow, like who would have thought that yellow would be so pretty, yellow and gray. Those are like those dishes we just thrifted. So Sharon Santoni, this book is so it's 40, so I'm guessing 39.95 is the price on this one. My stylish French girlfriends. And then we have another one from Sharon Santoni because I love her. My French country home. Look how beautiful that is. It's got beautiful, this makes me hungry. It also makes me want to plant another cherry tree. Cherry, how do you say that? Clefo, clefotis? I can't speak French. Look at all those pretty flowers. But people ask me, like, glassware, do you sell glassware? Look at this picture. Of course, glassware looks so good, plain glass. Here's some beautiful transferware. My French Country Home. So those are the five new books that we just got on um, the website. You can find them in New to JRV. I've been thinking about um, doing a book, like, category because I want to carry more of the coffee table books because... I think every home should have at least two to three beautiful books on their coffee table for when guests come over, gives them something to thumb through while they're waiting um, for you or whatever. They're just, they're perfect. Okay, let me just see if there's any questions. Oh, Diana said she thought that sweater was plum too. Right? Hello, Stacey. It looks plum. All right, I've almost got the second part done. I'll, I'll come hold it up close. I just have one little section over here to do. Okay, if, if you just ordered the craft kit, you're like, I didn't know I was also gonna get a shop tour. It's a two in one. We needed to do the craft kit video and we're kind of running to the end of the month. We're actually extending craft kits available until the 25th, as it is. And we also need to do a shop tour. And we the only July have- The July one's always hard because it's like summer, there's lots of things going on. There's the holiday at the beginning of summer. And then uh, if you celebrate Pioneer Day on the 24th, that's coming up here. Yeah, we only have half an hour because we have business coaching. Um, at 1.30, so we now actually only have about 10 more minutes for this. So I will, once he shows you this up close, I'm gonna move to showing you the next thing that we have that's on sale in the sale collection that's new. And then we'll start staging some of these thrifted finds in the shop um, because we've got a bunch of things we need to restock. We had somebody come in and like clear us out of a lot of stuff. And so we've been restocking like crazy, like trying to make the shop look full again. So we'll probably have to do another shop tour maybe next week because we're not gonna have as much time as we Well, we've moved have. a bunch of stuff around too. Yeah, if you see anything that you like, it's available at jamierayvintage.com. All right, I'm almost there. Just one more little carryover. This crinoline is so pretty. It's almost like tone on tone. It looks so good. I could have sent white swan too, but I just thought that'd be too stark. Yep. Hello. We're live. I can get Maria to come help you. All 
All right, so I got, I was trying not to get my stencil in the paint over here and I did. All right, I gotta scooch everything down. I was way. actually inspired for this craft kit because we have a beautiful botanical half apron that we carry here in the shop. I'll go grab that while you're finishing this up. Oh, do we even have any more? That's a good question. That's kidding. We're sold out. <laughs> Of what, the half aprons? Yeah, the botanical half apron. That's where I got this idea from. Well, you know, just go get yourself a craft kit and you're good to go. This would be so cute to do on so many different things. Like you can make signs, you can put this on furniture. This is, I actually had a customer in this morning that saw that stencil and she's like, I'm going to order the craft kit just for the stencil. Well, like it's she, nice. Because we it only just, do the, these are exclusive. Yeah, because it just runs together. Okay, let me make sure we've got all right, if you're just coming on, say hello. And if you like this kind of video and you wanna share with your friends, hit that share button. This week, we're gonna pick four winners to get happy mail. Um, and we'll announce them on our Saturday thrift haul because we were out of town last Saturday. So instead of two, we're gonna do four. So make sure you're sharing because we have some, some slightly dented paint we'd like to ship you. <laughs> okay, here you go. What color and kind of paint do you usually use for stencils? So I love neutrals. Um, I do a lot of weathered wood, and in this case, we did crinoline because it was a darker background. Look how cute that is. I thought it'd be perfect for the fall because people are doing a lot of baking, and so I initially came up with an apron idea just for the apron, and then I was like, well, that seems like not enough for a craft kit, so I ordered these towels. And this one should Look at take that. Much. Can you see it? Um, yeah, they can. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this one would look best if we put this cow right in the middle. That was my plan. So that way when you fold it in, like um, uh, when you like hang it over a, like a hook or whatever, it works out well. All right, so you're only gonna get one stencil brush, so. Clean it between. Clean it between. I'm just gonna brush mine off and then we'll heat seal it and will be pretty much. It's not gonna wash out. It will fade over time, but we're gonna show you how to heat seal it. So what you're gonna do in case you are already saw how to stencil, you've got your craft kit and you don't wanna watch any more of this video. Um, once you stencil your cow and you've got your apron done, wait 24 hours for the paint to dry. Then you're gonna take an iron and you should use like um, parchment paper or a piece of brown paper in between it. You're gonna take your iron and you're going to heat set about five, 10 seconds and keep it moving to the setting that's appropriate. Like this is cotton, so cotton setting for this. And you're gonna heat set your um, paint with the iron. Then do not wash it for at least a week, but if you could wait a month before you wash it, even better because the longer that paint has to cure, the less it's gonna fade out in each subsequent wash. After 30 days and after you've heat set it, that paint's gonna be stuck on there really good. We have tons and tons of fabric that we've done this to that has held up. Honestly, you're getting the stencil though, so if you, you wanna make 20 of these things with your own paint, go right for it. Well, I just thought this was great. I'm like, people are probably gonna be ordering weathered wood and crinoline when they're done with this, and then they're gonna to wanna to get some of these, because you can order big packs of these, and then you could do a bunch for Christmas. I know a lot of people with inflation are trying to get creative with gift giving, so it'd be so, wouldn't it be so cute if you gave a bunch of little half aprons with a cake mix or something? Like, I'd love a present like that. So if you guys are just tuning in, Caitlin pinned on here how to sign up for this craft kit. And like I said, it's available to sign up till July 25th, 2023. And then we'll be turning off signups until the next craft kit um, becomes available to ship out. And they only ship out every three months. So if you sign up. If you, you see me pulling bristles, this is first time used brand new out of the pack stencil brush. Yeah, so when you get your stencil brush, rub your hand over the top of it, pull out any loose bristles. We didn't do that and then you should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna show next up, while he's finishing that up, we have a restock of some of my favorite shirts, Black Sheep of the Family. We sold out of almost every size the last time that we showed these, so Black Sheep of the Family, small to 3X, has just been restocked. And then we've got some of our favorite vintage shirts back in. This one is the Forget About Live, Laugh, Love, Life's About Junkin', Pickin', and Paintin'. And then I believe all these go up, these ones go up to at least 2X. And then we've got 
Save the Planet by Vintage. Actually, I look, I'm wearing it in blue, but we carry it in black. So, so if you're nervous, uh, one more. don't do like what I oh, did. And then we have this one in black, the junk in picking. Okay, so that's gonna show I you. got off my stencil a little bit, so careful of that. But, there we are. Look how cute that is. So there's two options for the craft kit. You can sign up for the one time, it's $49.95, you get all of these things, um, and it just ships once, and that includes the shipping, or it's $42.95, which also includes shipping, and you'll be billed every three months until you turn it off. Okay, okay. really, really quickly to heat seal, I'm gonna just show you right here. I got my iron super hot. I'm just gonna put it, you can use a different towel or whatever, I'm just gonna put it under this towel. You don't wanna put it directly onto the paint when you're heat sealing. So just get a towel in between. You could use parchment paper, that would work. And then come in here, get it nice and hot. You don't want it so thick that the heat is not transferring to your item. Yeah. No water in your iron. You do not want to get it wet and make that DIY paint bleed. So typically you're going to let this sit 24 hours. Let it sit overnight and then you can heat seal it the next day and then this will last a long, long time. The pattern won't fade on you for a long time. I'm not saying it won't fade indefinitely because if you, anything, any fabric, you start washing it, the design is going to come out and start fading. When you are stenciling fabric, you just again, you want to make sure it's a porous surface. So like I probably wouldn't stencil silk or anything with like a slick, like a rain jacket. Like I wouldn't stencil that, but cotton, cotton mixes, these are very canvassy. The paint absorbs down into the fibers of the fabric and it works well. There's a stencil up close. All right, I'm not gonna do the other one because yes. same, same deal on that. Let's do some staging. So we have some, okay. Kayla, would you drop the link to our thrift haul collection? We have a few things left from last week that we're going to put out. Um, I was actually wanting to go up front, if you don't mind taking that. Yeah, let's go for there. a walk. Um, we have some of these beautiful books that need placed. This French Girlfriend book goes up here. And this Swedish book. I always like to put everything back. Your little sheep and cow yeah, farm. Sheep and cows. Look how pretty this looks with the American. Oh no, Sweetie Jane. That's what color that is. I just put this right here. Actually, we kind of like to put things on the chairs that doesn't block the chair, but kind of keeps people from sitting on them. <laughs> so they are like antiques. They are antiques. They're very sturdy. You, I've sat on them. They're fine. But, you know, you get a bunch of people in here and kids jumping up and down on stuff. We're trying to reconnect. Oh, it's reconnecting. Okay. Next up, we got this cute little bunny. Whoops. I'm actually surprised this didn't sell. We just, remember those chocolate bunnies, you guys, that we had? We just sold the ones that we thrifted. I'm going to put this one here. I just think that's cute. It looks good with that clock. How much time do we have? Like five minutes. Let me grab. I don't know what time does oh, that it's say? 124. So, oh, yeah, you got, five, you got five minutes. Well, we got to be live at 130. So. Well, I only need a minute to set it up. We just restocked these, I forgot to tell you. Those went so fast last time. They went so quick. That you get the caddy and the salt and pepper for 31. Maybe set that one to the side. It survived. 31.95. And you can drop it on a wood floor. Not tile, though. But they're like wavy glass. They're so pretty. I love this salt and pepper set. And we've got one little lone candlestick. This is my clear glass display. I've had to restock it because we sold a ton. I'm going to put that silver tray over here too. Yeah, the silver looks good. We've contemplated polishing some of our silver, but that's a lot of work. And we found that we don't really get... Unless it's like actual silver and not just silver plate, we don't really get much more for it. I feel like people love the tarnished look, so. I love it. I feel like it goes perfect in a lot of applications. We had a few more pieces that were displayed on this. 
they sold. So this is the Poland, Royal Kent Poland teapot and creamer. Look, isn't that cute? Put that up there. I like things to not be too symmetrical, like kind of unexpected. And then there's Zeb's. Uh, these are the Timberland mugs, and then of course the Mikasa butter dish. This is kind of our vintage dish section. So let me push this back. Whenever I have like a vintage dish that I don't have a specific spot for it, I will put it here, and then people kind of know to come in the shop when they're looking for dishes. They kind of display well together. I think it looks cool. You know, this is kind of tucked around the corner. You don't see it when you first walk in the shop, but a lot of people come and go through this whole shelf here. They spend a lot of time on this place. So if you're wanting anything you see here, this is all found and thrifted. So this is all in the Saturday Thrift Hall collection. Tons of fun mugs. We and should dishes. show them this. Oh yeah, I'll show them. this is our piece from last week. Last Friday. Last Friday, if you saw our Furniture Friday video, this is, we, we sold, um, the cute little vanity that was here. And then we also sold a few other things. So we moved this black piece in here. This was our um, anthropology knockoff. And then I put our other anthropology knockoff right next to it. So we do ship our furniture. This one is $13,995 shipped. So $1,399.95. And this can ship anywhere in the 48 contiguous states. Oh, I did have one more thing. I think we're almost done here. But we restocked fabric scraps. You get two scraps this time because we had little bits and pieces. Um, and they are, I think, $8.95, I want to say. Let me double check. They're normally $16.95 a yard, but sometimes people love the grain sack scraps. We usually sell out. Yeah, so $8.95. And they're, well, they're chosen so good at random. For like little banners, hot pads, all kinds of stuff. I always have scraps left over from all of my projects. And so I give them to people, I sell them to people that want just a little bit. So those are in the sale collection or just look up scrap grain fabric and they're $8.95. All right, we're going to let you guys go. We promise, promise to do another shop tour next week because today's was so short. Well, we did, we did like eight things in one video today. Yeah, we did the craft kits. We did a little bit of what's new. Um, but we will be back next week with a proper shop tour, so that way you guys can see that. Um, and if you like anything, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, hit share, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Thanks, guys. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you tomorrow for Waste Not Wednesday. Catch you guys later.